Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Farm. This is Dr. B. Meena, Head Department of Commerce and Vice Principal Shifwan from Petition College of Arts and Science, NAR Chennai. In this video, I am going to teach you how to prepare the process account when we have a normal loss with scrap value. Click the I button to watch my previous videos to have more understanding in process costing concepts and how to work out the normal loss without the scrap value and simple process accounts problems. Let me check one problem. How to prepare a process account when we have a normal loss with the scrap value? A product passes through three process A and B and C. 10,000 units uh, rupee one per unit were issued to uh, process A. Okay, 10,000 units at rate of one per unit. Okay, and we have three process process A, process B, process C. And the respective dip, uh, process expenses were given with the amounts. The expenses are sundry materials, direct labor, direct expenses. So these are the items usually we will debit in the respective process accounts. And look at the paragraph. The wastage of process A was 5 percentage, process B is 4 percentage, process C is 5 percentage. So always the wastage of each process percentage will be calculated on the input what we are giving. So have it in your mind always. The wastage percentage is applicable only on the input what we are giving for each process. The wastage of process A was sold at rupees. 0.25 per unit. So in this problem, we have a wastage percentage as well as the scrap value. So whenever we have a scrap value for any wastages, that wastages will be termed as normal loss. Okay. So this normal loss will be credited in the respective process account with the units of wastage as well as the value how we are going to calculate based on the information, the question. Okay. So the first process A wastage will be sold at 0.25 per unit. The second process B scrap is sold at 0 0.50 per unit and C scrap is sold as 10 per unit. The overage charges were 168 percentage of direct labor. We have one more expenses apart from materials, direct labor, direct expenses. We have overage charges. That is whatever direct labor Amount is given for each process on that 168 percentage. Say, for example, what is the direct labor given for process A? 5000. And that 5000 into 168 percentage. In case process B, 8000 into 168 percentage. Process C, 6500 into 168 percentage. Like this, we will calculate what is the overage charges for each and every process as per the problem as per the instruction in the paragraph. The final product was sold at rupees 10 per unit. This information is given for to calculate the process uh, that is for the final profit, okay. Prepare process accounts and finalize goods account. Look at that solution. Process A account I prepared here. I have three columns for both debit and credit side that is particulars, units, rate and amount. And then opening stock is given in this problem. 10,000 at the rate of 1. The same thing I debit over here 10,000 into 1, 10,000 rupees. I debited all other expenses along with the overage charges 168 percentage of direct labor. Direct labor of this particular process is 5,000. On that 168 percentage, 8,400. Okay. Then go to the credit side. Please mention whenever you have a wastage with a scrap value by normal loss. So by normal loss, 5 percentage as for this problem for this process on 10,000 means I will get 500. Can you able to understand what is the per wastage percent for process A? 5 percentage. This 5 percentage into 10,000, you will get 500. 500 into what is the rate per unit for wastage? 0.25. That's what I mentioned over here. 500 into 0.25, 125. Then how to end this process? Okay. So 25,450 25, is the total of the debit side, is the total of the debit side. And then uh, you will close the units column also, 10,000 units. 
and then out of 10,000 units, what is the normal loss? Out of the 10,000 units, what is the normal loss? 500. So what could be the output of this process? 9,500. I repeat, out of 10,000 units, the normal loss was 500 means, what is the output of this process? 9,500. Then how to get the balancing ticket? Now as usual, they get the total of the debit side that comes 25,450. 25,450 minus what is I so far I credited 125. So 25,450 minus 125, the balancing figure is 25,325. So 25,325 is the cost of the output of this process for 9,500 units means what is for one unit. So 25 T25 25 divided by 9,500, I will get 2.67. Then put the total on the credit side in the process A account. So this process output, 9,500, the rate of 2.67, the amount of 25,000 T25 25 will be carried to the next process as input on the debit side. So I debited over here. Then I'll check the problem. What are the amounts for the Process B for these expenses and two overhead charges. What is the direct labor? 8,000 on that 168 percentage, 13,440. Then I'll go to the credit side, credit the normal loss in brackets. I mentioned what is the input I gave? 9,500. On that, what is the percentage of loss? Is mentioned the problem, 4 percentage. So 9,500 into 4 percentage, 380. So 380. And what is the scrap value is given for B? 0.50. It's what I mentioned over here. 0.50. So 380 into 0.50, 190. Okay. Then as you should close the debit side with the total and the units column. So out of 9,500 input, the loss is 380 means what is the output of this process? 9,120. Then how to uh, calculate the balancing figure? 49,453 is the total of the debit side. And credit, I so far I created 190, deducted 190 to be deducted for 49,453 means what is the balancing figure? 49,263. Okay, so 49,263 divided by 9,120, what is the rate for even 5.4? So we completed process B, and this amount will be transferred, this process C account transfer to the transfer to process C account as a first item. And as usual, way debit all the expenses, overhead charges, how to calculate what is the direct labor, 6,500. On that, 168 percentage. So 10,920. So as usual, we need to close the debit side. Close the debit side with the uh, total that is check out this total. David side, the units column is 9,120. Out of 9,120, we have a loss 456. We have a loss of 456, right? So 456 minus 9,120, what is the final output? Since it's a loss process, this is the final output. So 9,120 is in my input and 456 is the normal loss. Normal loss, I think all of them understood how I calculated. 9,120 on that 5% as for the instruction of the problem. The instruction of the problem, ASA percentage is 5%, right? So 5% I applied on the input 9,120, so 456. And rate scrap value is given in this problem is 1 rupee, right? The scrap value is given. Look at that scrap value is 10 per unit. So uh, what is the scrap value I showed here? Not 10 per unit, that is mistakenly I typed out here. That is 1 per unit. One second. That is 1 per unit. Okay. So look at that. So 456 into 1, 456. Then, and as usual, they out of 9,120 input, I gave 456 as a normal loss means, what could be the final output? 8,664, okay? Then as usual, close the debit side. The total is coming as 69,758. 
69768 minus so far i created 456 so you will get the balancing figure 69312 so 69312 divided by 8664 i'll get the cost per unit is how much eight rupees then i'll close the credit side also so this is the way how you can prepare the process account when you have a wastage with the scrap value whenever you have a wastage with the scrap value that wastage has to be termed as normal loss which is to be credited on the respective process account with the respective percentage loss we need to calculate the normal loss as well as put the respective scrap value to find out the amount mm -hmm. okay and then find out the cost or that is uh, output of each process and finally in this problem we need to calculate the profit how to calculate the profit what is the final product 8664 units and each unit is sold as for 10 rupees it is given the problem the final product was sold at 10 per unit the same rate i will take it as here 8664 into 10 86640 and what is the cost i calculate 69312 so what is the profit 17328 is the profit so this is the way how we can calculate the profit for this problem let me check for one more other is a um, problem okay so can you able to understand by looking at this problem how to calculate the uh, normal loss when we have a scrap value then how we will prepare the process for accounts and thanks for watching this video and uh, see you soon in the next video subscribe my channel click the bell button and have a more understanding click the i button also to have more understanding how to prepare the process costing and concepts thanks for watching this video